<laughs> Are you guys ready? Flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard hitting truths. I like this guy. Gentlemen, keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. Yeah, you're going to see something special while you're looking up there, no doubt about it. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. And his opponent is the young Nathan Frazier, who's really been pegged as one to watch since arriving here. See him in the ring and you'll understand why. Frazier has challenged champions and heavy hitters since day one. No fear, no limits. That's what he's all about. Ow! Foot, meet, back. He fends off the attack. Placed into the corner. Oh, and a forearm smash. Big stomp in the corner, creating a lot of separation. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. We're going to finish it off. One time bomb. Off into the pin. Kick out at one. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Saw that one coming, took advantage. There's a lot of risk involved with the offensive style of Nathan Frazier. Yeah, but there is a generous reward to be had with that risk. If Frazier can stay focused, he'll greatly reduce the risk associated with his offense. Oh. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. High risk. Oh, he can do it here. He gets the shoulder up at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Great reversal. Oh, so athletic. Agility like that. Easier said than done, gentlemen. Ducking out of... Oh, my! What's going to happen here? Backbreaker. And Nathan dodges that one. He went right into that turnbuckle. 
torturous focus on the leg in the corner. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Snap suplex. Very nice. A show of disrespect from Frazier. A show of disrespect from Frazier. Taking it outside the ring now. Heading back to the ring. He's taking this to the floor now. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Kick to the gut. Frank the round into a neck breaker. Oh, a jumping arm breaker. Two. Three. Uh oh, this is just vicious. No, oh. no, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. He is just reeling from that offense. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. And this one might be headed ringside. Super kick! Two. Elbow throw saying not today. Three. Four. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Making their entrance inside the room. Oh, no! This superstar could not wait for the bell to get their hands on their opponent. This thing is personal. So much bad blood between these two. A uh, superstar who was attacked is uh, starting with a big disadvantage here. Now the free match attack has completely changed the odds in this matchup. Clearly a lot of hostile feelings between these superstars who couldn't even wait for the match to begin before getting their hands on each other. This match is a powder keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running very high between these superstars. Well, that's one explanation for the unchecked violence we witnessed before the bell. A hamstring. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Can't quite get him there. And he's able to fight Rudolph. Larian. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Smash. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. From way up. You gotta be kidding me! Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Closed fist connects. That's one of the hardest hits Root has taken thus far. And that'll show people what Williams is made of. Williams is such a well of natural talent. The only question is whether it can compensate for some relative inexperience. It can, but a smart opponent will look to exploit that inexperience. 
force Trick into situations his athleticism can't get him out of, and you can capitalize on his relative newness to the game. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Up across the... Uh-oh. Evades the attack. Leg Lariat! <laughs> Hoist it up. Suplex! And he goes for the pin. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Rude gets him back. With this level of hostility, it was only a matter of time before we saw him reach this point. Yeah, Corey, the raw bitterness between them is almost palpable. Tossed into the corner. Back elbow blows that one up. It's their opponent's uh, legs uh, is uh, alley -oop. What could Trick be looking for? And he won the top. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Got to find a way to get out of this. Oh, right to the front. Elbow drop. Piercing. Just pinning the arm down and then driving a knee into the arm. Williams dodges. Flying forearm connects. Big impact to the back of the neck. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Connecting with a sharp elbow. And now Wood has all gears in motion. Trick's inexperience may be coming into play here as he finds himself boxed into a tight corner. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He's able to sidestep there. Whip back into the ring. Oh, oh a big boot. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Will this be enough? Gets the shoulder. He really thought that was it. Setting up. Trick off the ropes. Nice neck breaker. Rude felt the full force of that one. Two. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. A win worth separating tonight. None of these competitors were giving an inch in this one. This is why it's unwise to count on underhanded tactics to win you the day. It seemed like a pretty good plan at the time to me. Well, when it's you who approves of a plan, that should be the first red flag. Gallus is here. And they are ready for a fight. dangerous team of Gallus looking focused tonight. There's no telling what sort of damage they'll deal out in this match. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have a 
four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top. Gentlemen, trouble is on tap, and here are your servers. A group of superstars who are all about the good old American life. Money, glory, and fun. Mostly the money. This is on tap with Briggs and Jensen in their tag team matchup. How these guys manage to drag themselves out of the honky tonk is beyond me. Getting rowdy at the bar is one thing, but these guys need to learn that this is WWE. Things are different here. I think they've proved pretty frequently that they have what it takes to get it done in both situations, Corey. Well, if you want hard hitting, no nonsense grappling, look no further than Gallus. The Gallus boys are perched up top. He's got him down. Is this it? And he kicks out at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Oh, strong knee connects. And the manager is searching under the ring. He can only be looking for something nefarious down there. Every strike more devastating than the last. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. And Jensen gets contested there. Oh, the elbow connects. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Flying. With the elbow into the pin attempt, and he makes the save for his team. Tagging his partner in now. Ooh. Oh my God! Here's a cover. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. T-bone into a power slam. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Played out with a power slam. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Big punch finds its mark. In on the tag. Right, he's got him here. He's got him up. And sidewalk slam. Joe looking unfocused after that blow. Here he goes for the win. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Oh, my forearm smash. Briggs wants to fly. Raped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Oh, yeah. Let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Oh, 
T-bone into a power slam. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Right to the kidneys from behind. He's starting to struggle here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No reason to stay in this right now. Oh, he retaliates. What's his plan here? Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Oh. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. One, Boom. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Jensen drawing a big reaction from the crowd. Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. Oh, no, sir! Cover here! And still in this. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Mark didn't see that coming. He gets tagged in. A spinning side slam. Such impact. He made it. Tag made. Oh, headbutt. Oh, nothing pretty about that. Stopping their opponent. And the forearm smash. Springboard off the... Oh, my God. Does he have it here? Kicks out. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Ooh, sharp elbow. And Joe holding him at bay. Frustration mounting in these competitors. No, it's going to take more to win this one. You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Uh oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Boom! What a right. Big boy. Could be felt throughout the arena. Oh, God. Sean Lariat. Briggs is swinging. Here he goes for the win. He breaks the ref's count after one. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Left by the turnbuckles. In off the tag. Incoming. Big clothesline connects. And more to come. Pow! Crushed in the corner with a second clothesline. Able to get the advantage here. Oh! The clothesline! And Coffee is laid out. The cover! Keep these guys in check.
on the Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Ooh. Oh my gosh! With one hand. Flinged across the way. Raped across the top rope. Clubbing four. <laughs> Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. Counters right into the swift chop block. What's going to happen here? Double team action on the way. What a boot. Ripped in the hard way. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Down to Odin. Shoulders down. Fights the shoulder up at one. He's still got more left in the tank. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. That got turned around on Mark Coffey. To the midsection hook. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free from behind. Chop block. Ah, uh, Jensen stopped that in its tracks. Wait a sir. Man, this place is jumping. And he tosses it back in now. Great wherewithal to beat the count. Tag made. Tag made. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Looking for a scoop slam, but from by inverted DDT. Carefully measured knee drop. off the attack with an elbow. Oh, and back to the elbow. <laughs> Able to reverse. Mark Coffey snap there to his opponent and drops the elbow. Mark Coffey could end it here. Cover. Kick right to the ribs. And there's more to come. Brain Buster. Looking to take flight here. Incoming. Oh, my God. Devastating elbow. From the apron. Ow! And Josh is being taken apart here. Mark Coffey is just doing what he pleases. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Oh, close line. What's he planning for Jensen? Jensen's down and he might be out. Here he comes off the tag. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Back suplex. 
Oh, stomping away. Gets the tag. He's going for it all. From the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. Waiting patiently in the corner, stalking their opponent. And there's the Glasgow send-off. Reaches his partner for the tag. Oh! Ooh! Targeting the leg there. Mark Coffey has it marked. Ooh! Slows that down with a well-placed kick. Look at this, going counter for counter. Eyes are focused, and the target is Jensen. And I think we just might see. Joe can sense victory. Makes the and there's the save. Oh, right in there. Big forearm. And listen to this place. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Good golly, Miss Molly. Knife edge chop. Tag made, tandem offense on the horizon. Off the road. Ride the lightning. Joe Coffey on his last breath. The cover. He keeps his team in the match. Great job anticipating Briggs. Spinebuster. 99. And the massive damage on Briggs continues to grow. Yeah, Josh is getting pulled out into some treacherous waters here. A well-timed dodge. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands. Big right hand. He's tagging out. Mark Coffey getting ready. Sky high. Oh, straight to the foot. Right in front of the referee. That'll be a blatant disqualification. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight you can believe. That's what we're about to get. this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE.
Here comes a man with a vision. Made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there, and is doing the best work of his career. Always had the athleticism, but now he has a drive like never before. fights for his family, fights to provide, and tonight, he no doubt will be fighting to win. One of the most impressive aspects of Cruz in the ring is his ability to adapt. Opponents might think they have him well scouted, but then he throws them for a curve. Yes, Saxton, couple that with his unrelenting focus on winning, and he is quite the dangerous competitor. But across the way is the new and improved Baron Corbin. After many tribulations, Corbin has rediscovered his edge and reforged himself. He's done messing around and demands to be both feared and respected by his fellow superstars. Yeah, Corbin is now a man with a purpose. He's a driven individual who sees every match as a chance to put his foot down. And a driven Baron Corbin makes for one scary opponent. Corbin finds an opening. Choke slam, backbreaker by Corbin. Shoulders are down. Denying a two count there. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Basement haymaker taking that. Going up against Corbin requires sound strategy and focus. You can't take your eye off Corbin for a second because you can find yourself the victim of an all-out assault. Now you need a ring awareness that's off the charts just to survive Corbin's fury. Know where you are at all times and do not get trapped in a corner. If that happens, Corbin will be perched up top. All oh, the way to the outside. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. point has to be frustrating. Guys, this is what makes Apollo so devastating. Yeah, the ability to quicken the pace. This is where Apollo Crews thrives. And Corbin is being handled here. Unbelievable ring awareness to keep ahead of Corbin and his strikes. Just cranking the head. Oh, that might have just broken something. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. To the sky. Frog splash from Apollo Crews. Let that powerful attack be a lesson to anyone who thinks about getting in Apollo's way. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Are we about to see it? Shoulder up. 
Not for a single second did I believe Corbin was going to stay down. Baron has way too much resolve. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? Quick back elbow detours that offense. Off the shoulders, up and boom check. Apollo is going full tilt here. Yeah, Cruz is really grinding the opposition down. He manages to escape it. to the knee. Dodges. Big boots. Uh-oh. The end of days. And the power is laid out for the win. There's two. Oh, he was almost finished. He's taking some serious hurt, but somehow he's still in this. I think he managed that kick out on pure instinct alone. And Corbin must be feeling robbed. I'm sure in his mind he got the three count. And this has been one of the most grueling matches we've ever witnessed. This had all the makings of a legendary taking flight. Bullseye. Is it enough? The cover. Two count kicks out. He still has life. How? How? Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a Apollo isn't being given any room to recover. Some flaws in Cruz's game plan are being exposed. Straight to the knee. And Apollo Cruz reverses it. Apollo is going to look to press on the advantage. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Setting up again. And a right handed spine buster by Apollo Crews. Apollo with a game ender. Apollo Crews comes up big with that victory. And Apollo Crews walks away with the W. Oh, I hate to say it, but Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. These two have no business out here. How in the world are these two going to be able to compete now? They better figure out an answer quickly. But otherwise, this looks like a bleak scenario. I guess they're going to give it their best shot. Well, they're still insisting on going forward this matchup. I don't know if this is smart. Oh, you know the old saying, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Well, the attackers obviously were not supposed to be part of this match. And now this team has got their backs against the wall. Buckle up. This one's going to be ugly. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. I just cannot believe the referee is actually allowing this match to continue. No, Byron, these superstars are all adults, and the referee isn't there to play counselor. The referee's there to officiate this match. You don't have to like it, but this match is going to happen. Oh, Stepping up. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. I don't know if the risk was worth it.
No, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. Oh, man, what a strike. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Breeze's confidence has to be rocked after that. Yeah, and Stax had him well measured. Stop in the leg. Oh, he got him. Is he going to lock this in? Oh, it's locked in. Stuck in the locker. One right hand is all it took. Boom, what a forearm. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull, net slam. Tags him in. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Measured knee strikes. Oh, with these into the cover. He's able to kick out before two. Still no end in sight here. Shot after shot. Oh, ruthless striking. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Makes him pay with a counter. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Caught in a bad position here. Planet face first. And he retaliates on Adonis. Kick to the gut. Oh, what a right! Small on their back. Right into the ring post. What impact. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. This match grinded him down a little. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Looking for a scoop slam. No. Slips behind. In first. DDT. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Face gouge. Oh, God. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. I didn't think things had gotten this heated between them. Byron, this feels like it's close to going nuclear. Tick, tick, boom. Big back body drop. Waistlock applied and launched into a German suplex. Into the cover. Oh. Quick shoulder up. This deep into the match, and he's able to kick out before a one count? It's stunning. Catches a punch. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Up and around, down with a tilt-the-world backbreaker. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Climbing up top, he's got big plans from the top. Diving out of the front. are you kidding me? Breeze looks like a sitting duck right now. Kick to the stomach. Look at this. And a big knee drop. Breeze is completely out of it. But uh, Timmy makes the save. And just in time. Great defense by Tyler Breeze. Super kick. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Fights out in two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Breeze has him marked.
Once that attack happened earlier, I think we knew the way this match was heading. Here we see the seemingly inevitable outcome. Look, when victory's on the line, you don't stop to think. You do whatever you have to do to make sure things go your way. And I guess throwing fair play right out the window just happened to be the best they could come up with. That's right. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's gonna take that energy into the match, too. Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. A mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. Always looking to make a statement of superiority and viciousness. Exerted her dominance as one of the top women in NXT UK and is now looking to take over all of WWE. Talks a big game about her wickedness, ferociousness, and willingness to do whatever it takes. You're right, and she backs up everything she says as soon as the bell rings. Yeah, a woman with a dark side, but a very bright future. Blair Davenport ready to wreak havoc tonight. Davenport's found that chaos and unpredictability suit her and her goals best, so she's going to lean into it. And it's only made her that much more dangerous. There's no predicting what we'll see from her here in this one. But she'll be challenged by a woman who's shown a high acumen in the ring. There's nothing you can throw at her that she hasn't already devised an answer for. Looking wobbly in the corner. Swing neckbreaker. Answering back. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Lifts their opponent's uh -oh. legs. And just, uh -oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. And that has Blair searching for answers. Face rake. Oh, definitely hurts. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. Here's what I want to see from Blair Davenport tonight. 
ruthlessness. She needs to unleash her most sadistic attacks. That's how she'll get this match won. A no limits approach to offense could certainly pay off big for Davenport here. Davenport making clear she has her number. to connect like a holy missile. Boom! What a shot. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Five. Ah, stops the legs. Six. <laughs> She's beginning to flag a little. The competitor in Davenport coming through here. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. And you can put this singles match in the books. Rules are rules, and the referee deemed this one a countout. When it comes down to the record books, a win is a win no matter the conditions. They should still be proud. Strikers in WWE, Nikita Lyons. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for, and they are excited to finally get it. She certainly knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one when she wins this match. One of the hardest hitting women in the WWE, Nikita Lyons, looking to impress here tonight. But when you consider her size and strength, coupled with her martial arts background, it's no surprise why Nikita has seen so much success early in her WWE. From the top! Oh, that drop! Oh, it's a pierce 
rising elbow. Fell like a boulder out of the sky and absolutely flattened the target. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Now that'll do some serious damage. Oh, God. Big impact. Nikita Lyons has already done so much to distinguish herself with her look and personality, but how can she distinguish herself inside the ring here? I'd say by using her light feet and heavy hands. People from the top. And Nikita capitalizes there. Oh, man. Boom. Head first. Ouch. Caught her. And she dodged that one nicely. And look at for a back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Turned that one around. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Bad predicament right here. Oh, right across the throat. The fatigue is setting in for her. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wicked kick to the lower back. She's got an answer for that. Oh, the heel hook. Stretch. Oh, continuing to punish them. Kick to the back. Hooked up. Fisherman suplex. And into the count. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Fizz press! Fizz press! Fizz press! Now, play it possum! Whoa! Play it possum! She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. Oh, what a kick to the face! Oh, my God! And Nikita capitalizes there. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Ooh. Counter on Lions. Look at her taking it all the energy from the crowd. Three, four, she heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. Steered clear of that. Snap, pile driver. Nikita getting out of harm's way. No, no, no. Suicide dive. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Oh, gut punch. Nasty. Oh, and she got out of there. Catching a drop kick. Six. Uh, Referees seven. count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Gentlemen, we've been waiting a long time for this match. Yes, this is really good. But hold on, Look hold on. This. What the world? 
Well, the scheduled opponent was just unceremoniously dumped at the top of the entranceway. And here comes the other. And we got chaos. Well, there's no secret. These two can't stand each other. It's coming away. Get out whoa. of the way. The referee having no choice but to call for the bell. Well, they weren't expecting this opponent, but they were ready to go anyway. Well, it's obvious these two have a vendetta against one another. It needs to be set. After an exchange of blows, there is no more sanction match. This is a brawl. Clearly a ton of hostile feelings in the mix here. Yeah, match or no match, they came to fight. That's exactly what they're going to do. Brain buster! Compressing the neck with that kind of force can't feel good. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Ooh, look at her answering back. Oh, the reversal by Chu. And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top. Whoa, look out. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Elbow right to the nose. Oh, a handful of hair. Just dropped her like she was nothing. Wendy's mind didn't look to be in the game there. Outright malicious intent from Indy Hartwell there. In full control here, face first. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Forearm. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Indy Hartwell is trying to ramp things up. Look out! Oh God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Oh, man. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Uh-oh. What a hurricane. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Full Nelson slay. And Chu might have just hit the snooze button on her opponent. Plenty to be alarmed about now. And now thrown back into the ring. Uh-oh. What a hurricane. And momentum is slipping away from Indy. Tough spot for Indy. From the top. And she doesn't connect. It's almost hard to believe that this epic rivalry began like any other, with jealousy and harsh words. But from that seed has blossomed an all-time blood feud. Yeah, and who could have predicted when all this began that they... Uh, setting up their opponents, stalking, waiting. Ready to strike! Basement form! Heck. Look at this fight. And Indy got it done. 